Um, so we start with introduction to the data encryption standard which is usually referred to as DES. Okay. A few facts. A par fakten. You know, we, we try to be like a little bit practical and also to motivate you. And I, I think it's cryptography is such a young field, it's kind of um, important to view that in, in all this crypto development in a context. Um, so what happened historically, the death was proposed 1974, so it's not, you know, it's a little older than most of you here in the audience. It's a little, little younger than me, okay. So um, it was proposed. by IBM, IBM Research in Yorktown Heights, that's about 80 kilometers north of New York City, with, interestingly, very interestingly, with input from our favorite intelligent agency, the National NSA, okay? Um, in particular, what's relevant, up to that point in time, there was no real cryptography out in the public space. You know, all cryptography that was being done was done by the Geheimdienste, you know, the intelligence services. And um, that was very interesting that the U.S. government asked for a standard. So this was, was in request by the U.S. government. The U.S. government said, who can build us a standard? And then IBM said, we can. And everything of the development of the cipher was kept secret. The only thing, the only thing, that was not secret was the cipher itself. So in, in 1974, they came up with this death cipher, exactly what, what we're going to do the next 90 minutes, okay? But they didn't say how, well, what the detail, I why it was designed the way it is. You know, they just gave you the, the, the cipher, there was no motivation, you know, what key lengths, how the internals were chosen or so. But again, the, I think the biggest thing back then was that suddenly the US government said, here's a secure crypto algorithm, and before the US government and most other governments didn't even want anybody to use cryptography, okay? So beca because, you know, they, they wanted to, to wiretap, to um, lauschen, right? To listen into communication of other people, okay? So that was a big, big, big event in the history of cryptography that suddenly a big Western government said, here is an encryption standard, here's a way to encrypt your data securely, okay? So that was ha happened originally in, in 74, then a few years later, in uh, three years later, in 77, um, from 77 up till 1998, you know, with, within your lifetime, right? You were, were most of you were going to school at that point, um, was a standard, and you have to be a little bit careful the standard means is the U may uh, first of all it was a standard for for the US government that means if if you build some kind of network equipment for the US government you had to use DS but it wasn't y y most other people could freely choose so they, they would use DES or not and it turned out many 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 commercial applications use DS okay and actually so so many people use DS that it's the um it has become the uh, best studied cipher in the world. And again, for essentially for, for more than 20 years, close to 30 years, well, at least for 20 years, it was by far the most popular cipher. I don't have any numbers, but I would guess 80 to 90 percent of the real-world application probably used DS. I'm guessing here. Maybe it was only 60 percent or something. But it was super, super popular, and it's still popular. The question is, may maybe to follow up here, um, normal DS is 
is unsecured today. The key is to short here. So the question is why is that on the German passport? Is um, but triple death is uh, very secure. 